And then Friday, very importantly, um, they're, they're trying to get me off guard so that I'll start screaming and lose my temper. And then they go, oh, see, ha ha, you're banned for 30 days. So I was speaking on Friday and Council President Garcetti goes, oh, please watch your language out of nowhere. And I go, mm, I don't cuss. I don't think I, I didn't cuss. Uh, and he's like, I know, I'm just warning you. Well, I mean, you're not allowed to, you're not, let me be very clear. You are not allowed to interrupt the speaker when they are speaking under the Brown Act. Okay? There's no preemptive warnings. Okay, so it's a slippery slope and you got the council president who just interrupts you because he's a pompous, arrogant coward who's doing things behind the community's back and he can't stand up to the exposure. And now we have a man who is standing up to these cowards who's coming here and exposing it day by day and they can't take it anymore because the city's going bankrupt and they just the one who did it. And so now they have to get rid of the people that are exposing it. They're cowards. They hide behind police with guns and they get away with everything. And you have a couple people that show up to expose it and now they got to pass illegal laws. And I want to know where the city attorney is who's his advisor who let them pass that law because I'm here to tell you it's lawsuit city baby because you just passed an illegal law because you're allowed to talk this loud if you want to and you're like hey so thank you for making me rich city council the lawsuit's on the way and I'm here to tell the people of Los Angeles your first amendment rights are under attack these city council members are corrupt you're going to see indictments some of them will go to prison and then I'll say I told you so